always start with a scene survey. Take charge of the situation. Call out to attract bystanders to assist you. What happened? Are there still hazards to deal with? What is the mechanism of injury? Are there suspected injuries? Make the area safe for yourself and others. Put gloves on if you have them. Identify yourself and offer to help. Obtain consent and assess responsiveness. If the casualty is unresponsive, this is a life-threatening medical emergency. Call for medical aid. Once help is on the way, assess for life-threatening conditions by performing a primary survey. Airway. Open the airway using the head tilt chin lift and check the mouth for anything loose. Breathing. Check for normal breathing for at least 5 seconds, but no more than 10 seconds. If the casualty is not breathing or has abnormal, irregular gasping breaths, start CPR right away. If the casualty is breathing normally, assess circulation. Take note of the skin condition and temperature. Perform a rapid body survey to check for any hidden injuries. If there are no injuries to manage, the first aider should continue to give ongoing casualty care until handover to medical help. Ensure an open airway by using the recovery position. Position the arm closest to you straight outward at shoulder level. Position the arm furthest from you on the casualty's chest. Bend the far knee, reach behind the casualty's shoulder, and roll the casualty toward you by pulling on the far knee. Adjust the position of the arms and leg so the casualty is in a stable position. Place the far arm at 90 degrees to the casualty with the hand protecting the face. Check breathing again, compare to the initial findings. And finally, reassess circulation. Check skin condition once again and compare to the first circulation check. Cover the casualty, manage shock. Record your findings and give an oral report to medical aid on the incident, the casualty's condition, and the first aid given.